Welcome back to the Seraphine Podcast. I'm Seraphina Rocha and I'm with Chelsea Atia. Hello, beauty. Hi. We are reviewing this season of the Beverly Hills Housewives. Mm -hmm. And we are talking about the pretty meltdown and what a meltdown it is. But before we get to that, let's talk about wrapping up Sutton's meltdown. <sighs> Oh my. And the ugly leather pants. The ugly leather pants. That was just too good. Um, yeah, they ended it at this party at Lisa Rinna's house, which would have been like such an amazing dinner yes. party. Could be so fun. But of course, we had to like bring in some drama there. So, yeah, everyone is. I, I kind of feel bad for Crystal because everyone left to go console Sutton. Crystal's like, wait. Like, I'm by myself here. I, I guess I think she started to feel bad because I think she felt like the bad guy. Yeah. But then the ladies were still trying to tell her, like, can you take this back? And she's pr very firm. I kind of, like, agreed with Garcelle when she said you kind of have to be a little flexible with this. Yeah. Yes, I know that you want to stand your ground. But to be a part of a girl group like this and you have such a – you kind of want to, like – calm the waters a little yeah. bit i think it's i think it's important to have an opinion or voice your feelings mm -hmm. and say hey i did not feel comfortable in this situation the problem with this whole thing was it was beating a dead horse it got down to the just the minutia of words yeah and and people harping on this thing that is well it's the principle of the thing yeah you have to take away the word violation mm -hmm. i don't think she had to take the take away the word violation she she explained why she used the word violate yeah she did use it in a proper context she did it's an extreme word it but it, but again um to sit there and keep demanding that she takes it back crystal has to understand that it's not going to blow over anytime soon yeah. if she can't at least acknowledge the fact that it was a strong word yeah. and to keep playing nice with the girls it's it's important to take a breath and go okay i'm i'm not going to take the word back but i am going to apologize for choosing a word yeah exactly <laughs> which is so harsh which she did she did, yeah. she apologized for that so yeah i think we can move on thank from it now, god hopefully. i hope i hope it does not come back i do love the fact that everyone gave sutton a little shade about her clothes though yeah <laughs> i mean i mean i don't know what it is about this woman but i mean her clothing choices are i mean they're all designer but they're yeah. like like over the top she they almost are. is like she's almost like a disney character even her bun yeah that she's wearing in her interviews yeah and those eyes it's mm -hmm. very like it's jarring to me it is it is she's trying she she needs to like own the southern bell and like dress soften, the part, a bit. soften it a little <laughs> bit because i think she's trying to dress too high fashion yeah and again it's like dorit can pull dorit, this off dorit can totally erica pull it off. can pull this off erica can pull it off because it's almost like dorit's like fashion barbie yeah and um erica's like the sex kitten yeah. dominatrix barbie yeah sutton is like like the kooky like i don't it, it's like your grandma uh, wearing Dolce Gabbana. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we go into um, her her family dynamic, which is very interesting in contrast to Kyle. Yeah. Um, the way she is with her daughters. I mean, we've got Portia with her long, long Kardashian nails. nails. But I thought that was really cute. Uh, you know, Kyle got gets upset that she feels like she's not being a great mom and yeah. she's like if my daughter wants to you know normally i wouldn't let her have these nails but if my daughter is bored at home and wants to play with makeup and nails like i'm gonna let her i thought that was pretty i cute. thought and i thought it was good that she justified it because again yeah. i mean if you have a daughter of a certain age and she's going around town with her claw nails yeah and that's she's a got story. you know i mean it's one thing if she's at home doing it but i also understand the guilt of yeah. being like, okay, well, I'm letting her do this. It's kind of like with this new dog. I'm like, well, I'm letting her gnaw at my <laughs> zipper in my pants yeah. just to be quiet. But in the end, do I really want that behavior? Yeah. Then we've got, uh, we. by contrast, though, I did love the Lisa Renner 
um, exchange with her daughter. Yes. I love how, you know, she, Amelia and Delilah have this thing where they're thinking the mom is cool. Yeah. They're going. She is. She cool. is. She's a her badass. archives. Like I want them. Her Tom her Ford cool. dress. Oh my gosh. Everything. I mean the Versace dress. Yes. But how funny is she throwing her, her, her Ve Legere dress <laughs> on top of a gasoline can, I think it was. Yeah. She, oh my God. She does re need, she needs to redo her. She her does. Archives. She can like great, do like dresses. a whole wardrobe, you know, and yeah. those are worth a lot of money. She said that Hervé Le, Legere dress was worth 5,000 like in That's the nineties. Yeah. They don't even make those dresses no, anymore. They really don't. But I do want to talk about Sutton's daughter. Yes. Sutton's daughter. Yes. Where it all stems from. All right. Are we buying the sweet Southern <laughs> Belle routine? Uh, <laughs> so I think that her daughter is, she seems like such a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. She's got it all together, but I have a hard time feeling like, you know, Sutton's talking about how she's raised her, her kids and that basically like really, um, really like sheltered almost. Yeah. Like I have a hard time believing that her daughter's at college, like just in study books. Like she, I'm sure she has some fun. Well, she's in a sorority after At Kappa all. Kappa Gamma. Yeah. We, and I love how Lisa Rinna throws in that she was a Kappa Kappa Gamma. And yes. She's like, and she's like, <laughs> back then it was not nerdy. I don't know how it is now, but it was not nerdy then. I was like, is that a little shade towards Sutton's oh, daughter? Totally. I would own the nerd though. I, I, well, I would own the nerd, but I also would like the daughter to own the devil. Yeah. She's a Taurus too. Yeah. And Taurus are like under secret undercover like freaks totally totally it's it'll be interesting to see how Sutton's daughter comes into the fold because mm -hmm. I think no matter what all of these women have the best intentions of, yeah oh I'm not going to bring my kids on film or, yeah. or to taping and then all of a sudden the kids are like but I want to be on the Real Housewives exactly especially at a certain age mm -hmm. so We've got, um, I mean, honestly, the bulk of this episode, though, is really with Erica and yeah. um, th about this scandal. Yes. Um, I, I'm i going to say it. Um, oh, I know. I, I, I think Erica coming to a hike with Kyle in full glam. Full glam. While she is being un she's under investigation yeah and it's she a federal supposedly crime. has nothing uh, yeah she talks about i have nothing i have nothing but then she sits there with her i don't know what mascara streaming down her face and you know of any makeup artist they're gonna know which mascara runs and which mascara stays put one especially for a celebrity 100 percent. so that was planned Full it glam. Was. That ponytail was it popping. Was, that was, was a cute was. ponytail. She, she looked amazing as she was crying. Yeah. And then, you know, all I could think of is when she did her guest spot on the soap opera with Denise Richards. Oh. And I'm like, oh, come on. If this is not soap opera acting right here. And then all the footage of her um, when they're all in their COVID bubbles. Yes. And her just sitting very stoically. Yeah. Being like, oh my gosh, my life is ruined. I'm like, damn straight it's ruined, woman. Yeah. You are on the paperwork of different businesses as either a secretary or someone on the board yeah. that the money is being filtered through. Go watch the documentary. It's mm -hmm. on Hulu, right? Yeah. Um, it's called the, what is it, the housewife and the and, hustler and the hustler. Mm -hmm. Watch it. It will open your eyes up. And unfortunately, um, through the tears and even through the empathy slash sympathy mm -hmm. of the women, you know, going, oh my gosh, we know she wouldn't do this. Yeah. They're all side mouthing off to the camera looking, going, well, but you know, um, they love a scandal. They love a scandal. Especially Erica. You know, Lisa Vanderpump is off like, <laughs> oh, let's get she, ready. She is. I would not be surprised if she like pushed some headlines. I wouldn't, especially now because you know that Dorit and PK are no longer friends with Lisa uh -huh. and Ken. Yeah. They had a little bit of a... a a, a bashing because you know Lisa and her shade. Yes. She made a comment about not recognizing Dorit uh, because of like work done, but she didn't say it. She just low key said it. But oh, she I didn't, didn't acknowledge. Know that. And Dorit was like, well, 
she's just the queen of shade. And apparently their friendship that was so close knit is no longer. That's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. But I have to say, Lisa just always knows how to just put a little. She does. And she, she, she put, she's a queen of throwing freaking like a bomb and then goes, what, what happened? I yeah. don't know. It's explosions everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so I'm curious to see how this, I mean, it's unfolding in real time. So I guess yeah. like a court uh, said that the victims could go after Erica's money now for their, for their money. For damages mm-hmm. or, yeah. or money that they didn't get from Tom. Yeah. And honestly, I have to say. That it makes sense because mm-hmm. I don't believe for one instant that Erica or Erica Jane's business would be what it is today without Tom. And yeah. I don't, it's not to discredit Erica and her talent and what she has done, but yeah. she had a big push from her husband. She did. And if you have investors that are putting money into your business that's shady, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, if you are found out, you have to pay the piper. Yeah. And she is somebody who, frankly, has got to help her husband or ex-husband out because yeah. she did reap the benefits of what he was doing. Exactly. And she said in, in interviews that um, he threw her the ball and she took it to the to the yeah, touchdown. Yeah, she, she got she a did. touchdown. You passed the ball yeah. and I took it to the end zone. That's end exactly zone, zone. Yeah. yeah, right. I'm You're like, such a sports I... person. <laughs> Go sports. If, now, if you, if you talk basketball, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. This has been interesting. I, I have to say this episode, though. Um, I know that you, she's still playing on your heartstrings, but I. Erica? I, yeah, I, yeah. I'm telling you, you've got to watch Well, that. I'm starting to see through it a little bit. I'm yeah. like, okay. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So some of it seems a little phony, especially like the full glam. Okay, I know glam is expensive, expensive. Yes. especially the people she hires. I mean, they for, for one session, they're like a couple thousand dollars Yes, for and hair. hair and then for makeup but is another couple thousand dollars. It just doesn't make sense. And mm-hmm. the other thing that doesn't make sense for me right now is the queen of own it, Lisa Rinna. Mm. I'm like, all righty, you're going to call out your friend Erica. I she saw- did, though. She-, she kind of did a little bit. She said, so I can tell. I know Lisa, and I know mm. where she's going with this. And she, they were all on their Zoom call. And she was like, so how does this happen? Like, true. I, I'm just going to talk about things that are in the, in the news. But how does this happen? And Erica's yeah. like... I wouldn't know, you yeah. know, if Erica would have said, well, it would probably would have gone this way, that way. She was kind of like baiting her to see if she took it, but she didn't take it. Yeah. This it's, girl is careful with her she words. She is so careful. And you know what? All of these women are very careful lately. And I yeah. think, again, going back to good old LVP, yep. she was the queen of like saying things, but not saying things. Yeah. And then them going, oh, you're two-faced, you're this, you're that. And I'm like, oh, ladies, you have all stolen a page out of LVP's book. Totally. Because I know behind closed doors with your husbands, you are all going, thank God that's not us. Exactly. I mean, I think everyone is thinking that. That's a terrible situation. And it's going to last a long time, that kind of stress. Can we just talk real quickly about Kathy? Because I just love her. Oh, my God. Kathy is amazing. She is. She is like my favorite. I hope she's like a full-time cast member next season. Definitely. She's awesome. I love her kookiness. I love the fact that she she's she's educated. On top of it, her humor Mm -hmm. is actually very well placed because she likes to throw in these kind of what I call the dumb blonde comments that actually defuse the situation. Yes. But also make us all a little tongue in cheek. But the funny thing is every one of those women want her friendship. They respect her. She's got the most power of all of them. She really the does. The most power, the most influence, the most money, like and and she's the most like under like played understated, person, yep. understated yep. like the way she dresses. She's just very like not flashy at all. But I loved it when she's sitting with and she's like, and everyone plays poker and everyone's got to show their hands. And <laughs> I was like, shut up, Kat. <laughs> totally. It's so funny because she'll she'll say something that actually makes sense, yeah. but it doesn't. Right. I know. I, it's exactly that 
encompasses that whole statement there. She's like a blonde Buddha. Yeah, she is. (laughs) And her howling with her dog was adorable. You know, Paris is known for having like all her cute little dogs. So, you know, she got it from someone and clearly it's Kathy. Totally. I I have to say Kathy Hilton is goals this season. I love her so much. At the beginning, we were like the first couple reviews we were like not sure about her yeah. but no. oh i'm i'm a fan i'm committed i'm committed i'm committed to i am all for the kathy hilton Me this too. season and i would definitely want more of her Me it'll too. be interesting to where see where bravo goes because yeah. i do believe that uh paris is uh making a name for herself with her podcast yeah. now as more of a and and plus that documentary on YouTube, mm-hmm. she's bringing more of a humanity and less of a cartoon Barbie to yeah. her life. I think that if she actually commits to this relationship and the guy mm-hmm. doesn't end up being oh, poor, uh, girl. poor, this girl cannot. I, I know I'm segueing, but I do believe Paris could possibly become it in this series even though she doesn't she says she would never do it she's the next generation of the real housewives she of beverly really hills is. she really is and i really sta- do and she started reality tv it pretty would only much. be full circle it yeah. would only make sense last i have a question for you yeah. do you think erica is going to come back next season i'll be honest with you i think we're in for um a big, big shock with her. Yeah. I actually think she might go to jail, might go to jail or that she might be fired from Bravo. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, that'll be interesting. It, it'll be interesting. I, I think that there's enough going on and I don't want to send any bad energy, any woman's way. Cause yeah. I, I do root for women in general and I, I hate to see anyone who stands I mean she's in in her 40s you know she's she had this like renaissance of what a 40 year old could be yeah uh unfortunately she did it on uh, on the back of a man yeah who frankly what he did is unforgivable totally so ah it's tough I think the I think if it was up to her she would because she needs the fame and 100%. she needs the money. Yeah. But I could see I I hope it's not another Teresa Judice thing, but it could be. Yeah. Um but who knows? I guess only time will tell, but I'm yes. telling you this is happening in real time. Like it is. all these headlines she's going through this as we're filming this podcast. Yeah. And as like the show's already aired, that's the start of it. Oh. Next season, I guarantee this is going to be a storyline for the next couple seasons. It I'm really is. Sure. And boy, Andy Cohen, you. He can pick them. He is. I mean, they say the whole thing about Chris Jenner, you know, that, that yes. Chris Jenner works harder than the devil. Yeah. Andy Cohen. Andy Cohen, too. Andy Cohen, you are right there. They, I yeah, swear. He is. he is. He's a sneaky little dude. He is. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, on that note, thank you <laughs> for, for watching this very dishy mm-hmm. Real Housewives review. It was a good one. We'll see you um, on the other side. Remember to click, like, and subscribe. See you later.